Good morning, everyone. Thursday. I think it's the 10th. I think. <laughs> I'm just over three weeks out from running the Moab Trail Marathon in Moab, Utah. Never ran that race before, but sure looks like a fun race looking at other people's videos and photos. I'm uh, running from home right now. Wasn't too motivated to get out the door. I did a half an hour of strength training before this. It's about 9.30 in the morning now. 50 degrees, calm. It's cloudy, but it feels pretty good. This windbreaker is going to have to come off at some point. Because I'm already getting warm. I'm not even a mile into my run. Uh, last week I got 60 miles for the week. And about 10,000 feet of uh, gain. This week, I'm running a little bit behind, but I'll get at least 50, if not closer to 55 miles for the week. So, i got to buckle down. i got two more long runs to do. I'll do 20 miles this weekend. Next weekend, after that, uh, I'll be two weeks out, and I'll do 20 miles again for my long run. And then I'll start backing off. I always uh, do a two-week taper now. Years ago, I used to do a three-week, but it didn't really help me anymore. So, all right, look at this. This is uh, west side of Bear Creek Park here in Colorado Springs. It's right next to our house. So I come here quite often. Ah, surprisingly, my legs don't feel real bad. I ran 12 miles yesterday that had a, almost 2,000 feet of gain. So far for the week, see I came into this run uh, 20.7 miles. I'll do at least five today, maybe longer. And so far this week, I've got almost 6,000 feet of gain. So I'm, I'm doing good in that department. Ooh, I gotta walk a minute. Ah, sun, yes. Come out and stay out. It looks like it might for a while. All right. Look at that. Our beautiful mountains. Ah, so nice. I'm on Stephanie's trail right now within the uh, west side of Bear Creek Park. Okay, <laughs> I know my split times on this route by heart as far as like if I'm running to that first checkpoint where I just passed at a certain time, I'm moving really good. Um, I'm moving pretty slow right now. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm going to put in some miles today. Tomorrow, slow, take Saturday off. And then my long run of 20 miles on Sunday. Yeah. It's beautiful, all of the colors. I'm still on Stephanie's trail. Coming up to a t technical section. And over there you can see the cars parked at Section 16 Trailhead. That's where I'm headed. Okay, over here at Section 16 Trailhead, just got off of Stephanie's Trail. Alright, that's the main trail. But I'm going to take the back way, which is just to the right. Still feeling pretty good. It's 
they're continuing to reroute trails here in section 16. That's a new short section right there. Looks like the new trail is going to go there. For reference to people that know this trail, there's the two benches. And this is the route that's always been in place. It's really nice to see so much work being done here. Still heading up section 16. Off to my right, you can see Garden of the Gods Park. We see that uh, park from our house. Beautiful view that we have. Okay, now from section 16. Oh, look at this. This is, uh, they're making this new trail. This trail was here before, but they're definitely probably going to close that trail off. Anyway, I'm dropping now onto Intamin Trail, which, which is a trail on the upper side of Red Rock Canyon open space. Pretty beautiful. It's in the low 50s. I don't know what time it is. It must be 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Just a slight breeze. Great running weather. Just over four miles into my run. So on September 6th, I decided to clean up my diet. I weighed 145 at the time. For reference, I'm 5'8", 60 years old, and I weigh 135 now, and I did that by cutting out soda, hot chocolate, candy, I used to eat a lot of chocolate, um, gluten-free snacks like Cheetos, pretzels, and gluten-free cake that I'd get uh, a couple times a month. Yeah, so... 10 pounds of junk taken off. I feel so much better. And on September 6th, I started strength training. And that is probably making the biggest difference as how I am able to run now. Uh, so a lot of good changes that's helping me. I should, I know I should run stronger at the Moab Trail Marathon. All right. Over there is downtown Colorado Springs. So, looks like I'm gonna get at least eight now because I'm a little ways away from home, which is good. Moving slow, but I'm feeling pretty good. Good time on my feet. All right. I'm still in Red Rock Kitty open space. What a beautiful place we have here. I'm five and a half miles into my run. That's where I came from. Still in Red Rock Canyon open space. Moving slow, but I'm feeling good. All right, doing good. So nice out here.
I'm still in Red Rock Canyon open space. 8.3 miles into my run. And I live over there about. Yeah. Still doing okay, moving slow, but feeling it overall pretty good. Looks like I'm gonna get 10 miles for this run, which is awesome. That's back to back double digits. Oh, this is so nice out here. I got pool week tonight. I play a lot of pool. Running is my uh, main hobby. And then playing pool is my second. I play three nights a week in leagues and usually in one tournament on the weekends. And I usually go to Las Vegas for the national pool tournaments. Oh, yeah. All right, that's it. I did 10 miles. Uh, what was that, like 1,800 feet of gain? No, 1,200, sorry, I think it's 1,200. And about a 1,335 average pace overall. Uh, pretty good run, I'm happy with it. All right, time to get some lunch. <laughs> See you in my next one.